everyone, this is Robin and welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I have a fun, sparkly, bright pink and black card for you today and I'm going to be showcasing our uh, shimmery white embossing paste. So before we carried the shimmery white, we just had the white embossing paste and on some of my videos I used to add just some glitter to it. So now you don't have to, you can just order the shimmery white and I just use this with some of my friends. It's kind of messy, um, it's not normally. It's already shimmery and sparkly and I'll show you that in just a minute. So we're gonna be doing using this and I am spotlighting the Happiness Surrounds Photopolymer stamp set. This is featured in our Snowflake Showcase promotion suite. It's not really a promotion, it's a suite that's only available in the month of November 2018. Directly from my shopping page, mypinkstamper.stampinup.net. You're going to fall in love with this card. It's super simple, but we're doing a super fun technique using the paste, like I said. So we'll go ahead and jump in, and I'll show you all of the product that I'm using on the card. It'll be directly on the screen with the item code just to make it easy for you. You can pause it and if you don't have time to do that at the very end of the video I will have uh, a picture that has all of the product that I use with the item codes on it to make it easy for you as well. Okay so first I'm going to grab some just background paper. This is our Stampin' Grid paper which I absolutely love if you want to keep your craft area nice and neat. You'll want some of this grid paper. I believe it's 11 by 17. And there's two sides and it has the lines, the rulers on it. It's super perfect. I keep saying super today. It's super, that's my word today. So I'm going to use this Melon Mambo cardstock. This is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. I'm just going to put it on my background paper. And then I'm using, this is a brick uh, mask, and it's from the mask set, and I forgot the name, so I'll have it on the screen for you right here. Let's see if I can do this right. This will be the code, and this will be the name, maybe. We will see. And I'm using one of the knife palettes that you can purchase to work with these stencils, along with our masks, or stencils, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so I'm just going to grab just some regular tape. This is how I do it and you will have to find what works for you, but this works best for me, even when I'm making multiple, because I actually am going to be making multiple. Some of my customers that ordered in October will be getting this card. I'm working on thank you cards today for customers. I'm trying to get everything caught up. If you order from my shopping page, I send you a handmade thank you card from me as a gift and as just a token of my appreciation because I'm so thankful for my customers. All right, so we're going to start right here and I'm just gonna pull, look at how pretty this is. Can you guys see, I don't know if you can see it sparkling. It's so sparkly on my end and it's kind of like cake frosting but you don't wanna eat it. That would be very bad, don't eat it. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the upper left and I'm going to just kinda scrape across. I don't wanna do the whole entire background. I want it to look, I don't know if retro's the word, I say the wrong words all the time, so. I sometimes just act like I know what I'm saying, which I'm just usually making it up. Okay, so I'm just going to have it kind of just kind of go across like that, and if you want your brick to be a little more bumpy, you can add texture to it like this. Just add whatever texture you want. Okay, I did add some texture, it looked way too uniform. I am so, I can't help it to be all uniform. I tried to make it imperfect. I'm doing my best, you guys, I promise. All right, so now I'm going to talk, stop. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> hey, welcome to my videos. I'm going to just pull the top right and then pull this off here. Look at that, oh, I do have some nice texture. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to set this aside and I'm gonna let it set and harden. It'll take about 15 to 20 minutes and then I will be right back. Okay, I have let this set for about 15, 20 minutes and I'm just going to set this aside. And now what we're going to do is we are going to be using our Big Shot and I just want to cut one circle using our Stitched Shapes Framelits. 
This comes with circles, ovals, and squares. They're all different color sizes. And they do a little stitch. I love these, these are my favorite. I'm using Thick Whisper White. And I'm using the thin instead of the regular Whisper White. I mean, I'm using the thick instead of the regular Whisper White because I want this to stand up on its own. This is the main image and I'm going to have it lifted with dimensionals. So I wanted it just to be a little more sturdy. So this is our big shot and I'm just gonna run this through and roll it. You can see I'm rolling it on the right side and that's it. You can set this aside and now I have my stitched shape, stitched shape die cut. There we go, see how it has all the stitches on it. Now we're going to finish up. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping. I'm using this stamp right here and then I'm using Hello Friend, which is one of my favorite stamps from this stamp set. I also like sending positive thoughts. It's your day, congratulations. You can really use this for just about anything. So I'm going to grab this big stamp right here. And then I'm also grabbing one of our Pierce foam mats. This helps when you're using our photopolymer stamps. Since these don't have, like our red rubber, they don't have a foam underneath it. It's just directly on the our acrylic blocks. And so this helps you to have a little bit of give underneath so you get a solid image. If you didn't know that or if you're wondering why some of your bigger photopolymer stamps aren't working as well, you just need to pick one of these up. Foam mats. So I'm going to ink this using Melon Mambo ink. It's our Melon Mambo ink pad. And I'm going to stamp it right in the center. Press it firmly. And then I have our beautiful stamp right there. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna close my ink pad so I don't get inky fingers like I do every single day. And now I'm going to take our Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad and I'm going to take the Hello Friend. Hello Friend. And I'm not going to use the piercing mat for that one. I'm just going to stamp and lift it up. So I have my Hello Friend. And now I can start putting this quick and simple card together. I'm going to start with my card base, which is a piece of our Thick Whisper White cardstock. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. And I actually have it scored at four and a quarter using our Stampin' Trimmer. I'm gonna fold this in half using one of our bone folders. This gives you a nice tight crease. Okay, it helps it to stay shut. And now I'm going to use our snail adhesive and I'm going to put some on the back of this piece of basic black cardstock. This is cut at four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to add that right on here. Whoops. I accidentally moved right before I was gonna put it down. Okay, now I'm going to take this piece that we already used the embossing paste. Now, because it's the embossing paste and it's kind of, it makes it a little bit wiggly, the paper, so I make sure I put adhesive on all four sides and a little in the middle for good luck. So you kind of see which way you want this to go. I want it to go like this. Add that on here. And now I'm going to take this little strip of basic black cardstock. This is cut at three quarters inch by three and three quarters. I'm going to run a strip of the snail adhesive and I'm going to put this, well actually, how am I gonna do this? Yes, I'm gonna do that. I was going to put it up with dimensionals but I'm just going to put it like that. Hopefully it stays, it looks like it will. And I'm going to take my main element. I'm going to grab some of our Stampin' Dimensionals. Put one in the middle, and then I'm gonna put four around, just to make sure it's nice and, well, I just grabbed two right there, oops. There we go. I am going to peel off the bags, if I can, carefully do that. And I will add that on here off to the left a little bit. So here's a beautiful, simple card. Here's another one just to show you. I usually make them in pairs or in fours. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you're one of my subscribers, don't forget to hit, hit the little notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video for you. Have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.